Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my Episode 8 trailer breakdown, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos later this year. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be breaking down Episode 8, which is officially titled Sharp Dressed Man. Currently, we don't have a synopsis or any photos or anything else to break down in regards to this episode, so we're gonna just have to base it all off the trailer and the title, but Sharp Dressed Man refers to Lex Luthor, who is going to be sharply dressed in this episode, because if you remember a couple of episodes back, Amanda McCoy said to Lex, you gotta go about things differently if you want to win, and so this is part of his plan, and you're going to see what he attempts to do in this trailer, and we're going to break it down bit by bit as we go through it. So the first shot of the trailer is this. It's outside of LexCorp, it's Metropolis, it's wide angle. Sorry for the bad quality, but I just wanted to pause it on the bit where it shows this kind of yellowy kind of flying figure flying towards LexCorp, and at the end of the shot he does stop at LexCorp. So... Is this Lex Luthor in his Lexo suit? Is he able to properly fly? Probably he's going to have the ability to fly because if you look at John Henry Iron's suit, yeah, that makes sense. Also, in a past trailer, we've seen his Lexo suit and we know that he flies through the roof at one point. And so it's a bit yellowy. It doesn't really look like Lex's suit, but it doesn't look like Superman either. So I'm wondering what's going on here. You guys can let me know down in the comments below because. It's not super good quality, this trailer. But for now, let's move on to the next shot. We've got Lois, and in the voice overlay, Lois says, if he thinks I'll not confront him on camera, dot, 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 and then it cuts to, my reputation is at stake when she's talking to Clark later. We'll talk about the reputation bit when we get to the shots of Clark and Lois. And just linking into that, the shot after this is of Lex, and he is contemplating as he is clean shaven for the first time in the entire show. We've known this has been coming for a while now, and what he says in the trailer is very important because he says, Lois Lane claims to be a champion of justice. I challenge her to come here and debate me face to face. So he has put an open call out to Lois to come debate him live on TV as he begins the next stages of his new plan that he and Amanda have devised and so the shot of Lois is of her presumably in this interview it looks like she's all dressed up and everything it looks like she's got a clip on mic as well so I do presume it's going to be live on TV and it's going to be a huge deal because it's Lois Lane versus Lex Luthor they're both very well known figures in the world plus also Metropolis especially so I wonder if it's going to be on the Daily Planet or not and we cut to a shot after this of Amanda. Now Amanda is definitely the mastermind behind this new plan because Lex has been very gung-ho, full throttle about what he thinks he needs to do. It's clearly not worked and as she said a couple of episodes back he needs to pivot basically and so she is here with Lex presumably looking at something because Lex is to her side so this could be the Lexo suit that has been made by Milton aka Brainiac could this be the episode where Brainiac shows up that is very very possible if he is the creator of the suit that we're going to be seeing in this episode so we cut to the next shot after this he got a proper good look at Lex clean shaven literally the typical Lex Luthor look just an absolute egg like no offense to Michael Cudlitz but that's what any person does look like with no facial hair no hair or anything and it's just the classic Lex Luthor look so it's exciting to see even though I do like his gruff Lex Luthor with the beard and everything because I think it really suits the type of Lex that we've got on this show who is determined to do anything and he is sat here in a suit it's a very unfamiliar look of Superman Lois's Lex Luthor because we've never seen him dressed like this so he is facing off against Lois and maybe this is just before it this could be him calling Lois out on TV and trying to appeal to get Lois to come on TV and debate him. Now, it seems part of their plan is to get the public on their side because Amanda later in the trailer says, after today, the whole world is going to be on your side. And she says that to Lex. So I'm wondering, with Lois's reputation at stake 
and Lex being down in the mud right now because he went to prison. I don't think his company's doing very well. So if he does change opinion on him, this could actually lead to a different type of outcome that could see Lois actually disgraced as a journalist and potentially that could be the way that Lex beats Lois. Now, I'm not predicting that Lex is going to beat Lois in this long game that we're playing right now, but there is all the possibility that he tries to do that, he tries to tarnish her reputation, and that's one way that he tries to get back at her. Now, over in Smallville, we've got someone throwing a brick through the window of the Smallville Gazette. Now, luckily, Clark is there to catch it, and we get to see this kind of slow-mo shot. They've done this once again. That was the iconic shot and the iconic scene that has been talked about non-stop since Monday night by everyone online because that reveal was just insane with Superman and Clark revealing himself to Smallville. And this looks great again. This looks kind of like in Flash time, what they used to do on The Flash. And so I really like this, that they are utilizing slow motion once again. But this brick is going flying, and you can see to the right of the screen, it looks like Lois is there. So it seems whoever is outside has launched this brick, trying to aim it at Lois. But luckily Clark is there to catch it, and he does. And the brick actually says, Liar. Now, I don't know if this is some random person in the town protesting against Clark being Superman for lying for all these many years, or is this simply just Lex and one of his goons who have thrown it through the window? So that's the big question surrounding that. We got this wider shot of both Clark and Lois, and he holds the brick that says liar, and Lois is still in that same getup, so I wonder if this is before or after she goes face to face with Lex Luthor. But let me know what do you think about the brick in the comments down below. Who do you think threw it? The next shot is of Jordan and Jonathan. Now, they're in front of a shop in Smallville. I don't know what they are looking at each other for, but presumably they've seen something, and that's why they turn their heads towards each other. Now, the next shot after this is in the Kent family home, and this is the scene that I was talking about earlier between Clark and Lois because we know that Lois is worried about her reputation and Clark is trying to tell her to not do this because she'd basically be playing into Lex's hands because Lex has been gone for a while now. He's been back in Metropolis and he's been scheming. We saw that he was the reason that Candace's dad came back because they served time together at the prison and so presumably he leaked the information that Clark was Superman and he tried to cause a big scene and this led to obviously Clark revealing that he is Superman. Obviously that could have been Lex's plan all along to try and get Clark to expose himself to the world and maybe that's a way that Lex is going to get the upper hand on Lois because Lois has been lying and profiting technically by writing articles on Superman all these years and never telling the actual truth. So maybe that's partially why that brick came through the window saying liar. It could have actually been aimed at Lois rather than Superman being a liar. But Lois is adamant that she has to do this because her reputation is at stake and she is 100% willing to confront him on camera and obviously she is wondering what is Lex's main scheme here? Why does he want to get her on camera? She's going to have to figure that out. But I do believe they will go face to face. And the final shot of the trailer is this great shot of Lex. And he's looking all suave. He's looking very smart. And he is presumably, once again, like I said earlier, face to face with Lois Lane doing this interview or doing this kind of confrontation live on TV, I would presume. Now, obviously, we're going to get more details about this episode so we can break it down more in a couple of days' time when they release the synopsis and also the photos for the episode because that's going to give us a better insight into what exactly is going down apart from what the trailer tells us. The trailer tells us Lois is going to be facing off against Lex and you got people attacking the Smallville Gazette and you've got the boys involved. I don't know if this is literally just going to be a Superman and Lois and Lex Luthor focus episode, or will we see the return of some familiar faces? We know that John Henry Irons and Natalie are supposed to be in one more episode this season before they return in the series finale, so they're going to have some time in the next one or two episodes. 
because right now we only have three episodes left. Once we watch episode eight, there will literally be two episodes left. So you could presume maybe John and Natalie show up in this episode or it could be the next one and it just leads into the final episode as well where they will show up again. So let me know down in the comments below, are you excited to see this episode? It looks like an intriguing one, especially off the back of Superman revealing his true identity to Smallville and the world. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would help this video get out there. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.